Hi guys, this is Corey with the Seller Core Free Auction Template Editor, and I want to continue on talking about how to use the CSS Editor. There's lots of features in there, some are more advanced than the others, but I wanted to touch on everything so you had an idea how to use it and what to expect from it. So we talked about text in the last video, and I'll move on to the next tab, the border. So to get started, we have simple text here. It says Seller Core CSS is awesome. It's inside a simple div. Nothing to this going to do some editing on it. So I'm going to double click, edit CSS style, and then we'll go to our border tab. Once again, we have a preview right here and the CSS being applied. So first look, this is pretty straightforward. We have our item border, the round border, we want to round the edges, and this would be the border outline, which is pretty much the most I want to talk about here. But we'll go back to item border. Obviously, when I turn this on, it turns on a border and very straightforward two this is pixel width all these widths are pixels so if we were to make this wider like eight it goes eight pixel width all the way around i can change our style these are styles offered in css dotted dashed double ridge and the default solid you also have none and a few others in there outset some of them look better with different colors like gray so we'll put solid on here and of course change our color like we did in text color or anywhere else you see in the software so if you hit this little plus right here it opens up and now we can further edit this the top right bottom left and you can change each of these individually to anything you want or nothing at all so to do a few things we'll make the right well, throw one in there make it 10 see that nice and left another one you can see those are nice and wide I could change the top to uh, dotted and the bottom We'll do, I don't know, double. So you can see that's different. Change the color. Make it a blue. You can see how we're starting to change that around. Also, in the same note, you can turn them off. Set it to none. And we'll make the left none. You can see there's just a border on the top and bottom. So you can really design your style. Sometimes, a lot of times, if you're making a list or something like that, you may only want the border on the top or the bottom or just like the right side. So if everything on the right and the bottom as the list builds down you don't have double borders top and bottom if that makes sense alright so to put it back you set these all back to the same number to solid and the same color doesn't matter and you see that it jumps them all back and then we can close that up so next rounded border now you need you need rounded border you need the item border turned on now, if it's a uh, image or something to that nature that you don't actually want a border shown, you can set this to zero or set this to none. Example of that would be if I turn background on real quick, go back to border, set this to none, and we'll add some spacing in here so we can see this. Let's make a quick spacing margin. You can see how the border is still rounded, though there's not actually a border on this. So. It's a little bit advanced technique there, something you may need to know. So if we wanted a border, we could do that. If it's an image or something, but we wanted a rounded edge, but we didn't actually want a border, to set this to zero or none, either one. But you need this turned on, and it won't let you turn it off. You turn this off, this turns off for you. Once again, you turn that on, that turns on for you. So it kind of tells you that that needs to be there, but that's why that, that needs to happen. So we'll set this back to two so we can see this. I uh, added padding in here. You see if we go back to spacing, which we'll touch on later. When you start doing rounded, it'll start cutting off. It'll start cutting off what's inside the box. And easiest way to fix that is just add some sort of padding in there. It doesn't have to be 15. It could be something as simple as like maybe five, but gives you a little, you know, a little spacing away from the edge, so the round can take shape. So 55 for this small of a box might be a little heavy. So, but if you put it on something like 15, you can see how it still has a rounded border, and that's the that's the pixel that it turns around the edges. So, just like above, we can open this up and we can edit the top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, and the CSS when it puts all four across, it goes in that order. That's why it's written in that order. So, we can do something, you know, heavy there, nothing, you know, heavy there and then nothing and then we can start to take shapes and once again you can change each of these with the curve 
go up here and change each of the colors or shapes or width or that kind of stuff along with the curve. So the last thing I want to talk about is the border outline. Now the border outline is a little bit different. This is a margin space outside of your border. If you add borders to an item, it'll take up the space. So if you set something to 100% with a border, that border will be included 100%, but the outline will not. So put this to a color we can see, something a little brighter, maybe this pink or something contrasting, we'll do the green and make this larger so we can see it, make it 10 pixels. You can see how it sets in there and it's on the outside. The outline never rounds, it always will say square. So if this was square, it'd line up with it. But if we want to round, you'll see how it stays square. And the next thing to show you is that if we were to go forward with this, you'll see that we'll see it on the bottom, but because this div stretches to the outside, we don't see that. So what would I have to do is put a margin in there or change the div settings, change the width and the height and all the other stuff. So one of the easiest ways of doing that, if I were to go back in there and go to spacing, and since we set the border to 10 pixels, put a margin, put a margin of 10 pixels, okay, there's our, there's our outer border. I actually don't use outer border that often because there's a few more limitations than just using the border. Not often do I need that extra color in there, but it is an option available to you if you'd like to use it. Very simple. So, all right, guys, in the next video, we'll talk about background, different background colors, gradients, how to use the background image. We'll touch on the image a little bit more because there's a lot more to that. But anyways, this is Corey with Cellacore Free Auction Template Editor talking about borders in a CSS editor. Please leave any questions or comments below. It's appreciated. Thank you.